Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and I'm sure many of you guys have already saw that my May gameplay on Hanamura was featured on Stylos' channel, and I just want to say thank you real quick to Stylos every time I mention this, uh, because I really am thankful, and it's such a humbling experience because not a lot of people can get coaching from someone based on pretty much their main and just help get better, even though this was kind of an interesting video in a sense, so I definitely want to thank Sty, but I also want to thank you guys for stopping by. A lot of people saw me in the comments and checked out my channel, and that video and all my comments really weren't trying to get myself publicity or trying to get subscribers but you guys came over and subscribed like the video commented on the video and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart that that really does mean a lot because I've been doing this for years on end and some people would say I deserve a lot more attention for how long I've been doing it and how many videos I have but you know I'm just chipping at it away just doing my thing every single day and if I earn a subscriber then I really do thank anyone that really does subscribe so every video I just mentioned that I do want to thank you guys because I don't want you to think that I'm taking this opportunity for granted uh, or thinking I'm just going to skip out on this. I'm going to work really hard to bring you guys some of the best Overwatch content that I can bring because I've been loving Overwatch lately. It's just one of my favorite games right next to Call of Duty right now. So you're going to be seeing a lot more Overwatch content and hopefully you guys do enjoy it. However, this is a second part to this video. Yesterday I made a video uh, talking about kind of the comments that I saw on that video and there were one of three comments that I saw. Pretty much one was Overwatch memes, which is always good. Two, saying how console is trash, or three, saying how I was trash. And in yesterday's video, I talked about the uh, PC versus Xbox war. Pretty much the consoles are trash. But in this video, I want to talk about how I was trash because that whole video, about 95% of that video was focused on me. About 4% was focused on the Stylosa commentary. And 1%, like I said, Overwatch memes, which is always a fun time to always read. So, like, I don't know. So you guys crack me up with the Overwatch memes. So if you have any Overwatch memes, you want to leave it in the comments just make me laugh because this is a stressful situation it's really not that stressful of a situation when looking through the comments now obviously if you're gonna be on YouTube if you're gonna be putting yourself out there you gotta have thick skin so like I said before I've been on YouTube for four and a half years so I put gameplay on top of gameplay all the way from Call of Duty to GTA even from freaking Minecraft so I put a lot of gameplay and a lot of eyes have came across my channel and put a lot of judgmental comments in here so for the most part I've had pretty thick skin because I've been on this YouTube site for such long time but when you put yourself out there on a bigger platform with a lot more judgment eyes especially from the overwatch community there's gonna be a lot of a lot of comments left directed towards you and it's kind of a scary thing because about almost over a hundred thousand people are watching literally just me Everything is focused on me and some people will be kind of scared by that But me it's still a humbling experience and I won't ever regret it But it does it's a little bit heartbreaking when you see a lot of comments saying that you're trash because nobody likes to Be told that they're trash, but some people handle it differently with me. I'm not really gonna get pissed off I'm not really gonna be like oh my god you hurt my feelings. I'm gonna attack you. No, I'm not like that Like I sweep it under the rug. I'm just not a hate-filled guy. I'm just trying I'm just kind of like this uh, you know, Forgiving kind of guy and sometimes that can bite me in the butt sometimes people will take advantage of that but we're not here to talk about me we're here to talk about the comments that I said because a lot of people were judging the gameplay a lot of people said it was a bad terrible gameplay why would you even look at this gameplay not even the fact that it was on Xbox Xbox but the fact that it was just a terrible May gameplay and I want to explain everything that I, that goes into this gameplay and why I sent it in the reason why I sent in that gameplay is because I wanted to learn from it rather than me sending in this God May gameplay because I have a lot of May game trust me I have a lot of May gameplay but with this one there was three main reasons why one was because of the end if you guys didn't see the end pretty much what would happen was there was a ninja cap and I thought people would have loved that people would have been like oh, oh my god how did they get it at the very end that was so awesome obviously people didn't really like that all too much a lot of people actually got mad that we were able to ninja cap it and even Sty didn't even know how to react it's like w w wait what just happened and I was waiting for his reaction and even even he didn't react too well it's like all right fine whatever the second reason is that we had two levers when we were on attack on Mars so throughout the whole entire uh, throughout the whole entire attack pretty much we had at least one lever but then they came back a thing about the Xbox is that a lot of people do disconnect I don't know why but you are able to reconnect and get back into the game nope Nobody rage quit, nobody was all triggered or salty or toxic, no, they just went back in the game because they disconnected and that was just an example where you just have to just keep on believing, just keep pushing through and I thought people would have gotten that message. I, even Sty didn't see that and I thought he would have made a 
comment on that. Never give up, never surrender, but I guess people really didn't see that either. But I thought that would have been a good mentality message. Like, never give up, even when you have levers, because we were still able to push through for the first point and capture the second point. So I really did like that. And the third reason was I just I just wanted to learn. I, not a lot of Mays are out there on YouTube. And there aren't a lot of May uh, commentaries or tip tutorials on how to place walls other than, all right, put a, ch put a wall in the choke and then run around, say Niha, and then just freeze people. That's pretty much all you have to do. Not a lot of in-depth commentaries or tip videos were made. And I thought, hey, maybe this will help a lot of May gameplays. I know there's going to be some people that's like, oh, all you have to do is watch uh, pros play May. Yeah, not a lot of pros even play May to begin with. I know there's gonna, always going to be those few people that do play May. But honestly, the professional scene mainly plays Reinhardt, Diva, Soldier, McCree, Anna, maybe Lucio. You rarely, rarely, rarely ever see May. But sometimes you do. But I thought this would have been a good opportunity to just kind of learn how to play May a lot better. And uh, yeah, I did. Honestly, I did uh, learn how to play May a lot better from this video, even though there were only a few things that I did learn, especially with the wall placement. This is what Stai just continued to uh, bombard me as terms of tips when he watched my gameplay was place the walls better, place the walls better. And beforehand, I honestly thought that my May gameplay, my May walls were pretty good. I thought I was a really decent May. I knew I had some stuff to learn, but after watching that video, I knew I had a lot to learn. And some people will say Stai's coaching was too harsh. He, they will say that Stai's coaching was too hard on me and just to play my own game and learn my own experience. But that's the great thing about getting coaching from someone like Stai. Some will say he's not the greatest Overwatch player ever, but honestly, he made it to GM on two different accounts. So I'll take any coaching from anyone because I always have a lot to learn. I mean, you guys got to remember Stai played football, which in America it is called soccer. He played football at a very high level. So I'm sure he had very, very harsh coaching from coaches, but that made him a better, a better football. But I don't want to say soccer because I know a lot of people know it as football, but that made him a better football player in a sense. And I'm sure that transfers over to his coaching in Overwatch. And I actually have this story. So if you guys don't know something about me, I played a lot of volleyball, sometimes at a higher level, sometimes at just an average level. And I had this one coach, right? So he was a very, very mean coach, but he knew what he was doing. He's been coaching for like 30 years and he's been playing his whole entire freaking life. So he knew, he knew what he was doing. He was a very respectable coach. But I remember one time uh, I was playing the back row. If you guys don't know what volley how volleyball works, just pretty much you got to know that when you're playing a back row, you never want to pass it to the middle yourself. And I remember during practice one time I got the ball and I don't know why, but I just passed it to the middle and the coach looked me dead in my eyes and said, what are you doing? Are you stupid? When you're playing the back row, you never want to pass it to the middle. Pass it to the setter and he'll get it to the middle. You never, oh my, that was such a stupid mistake. Guess how long ago that was? That was two and a half years ago and I still remember that vividly. Sometimes you got to have harsh coaching to remember never to make that stupid mistake again. When Stein made this commentary, he just kept on saying that was a terrible wall. You never want to place a wall there. What are you, why was that wall so bad? You, that's what you get for putting down a bad wall. And now I'm going to remember every time I play Overwatch, I'm going to have that little, that little voice in the back of my head. It's like, listen, Zach, do not place that wall there. Remember what Stylosa, Stylosa once told me, never place your wall there. And <laughs> sure enough, I'm going to always remember that. Sometimes you just got to have harsh coaching. So to just end out this video, I never claim to be the greatest Overwatch player ever. I don't even claim to be the greatest video game player ever, unless you see me in Pac-Man. Then get ready to catch this fade real quick, but I'm going to beat your I'm just, I'm, I'm probably trash at Pac-Man, honestly. But I still have a lot to learn, especially in Overwatch. E everybody has a lot to learn. Even the pro players, there's always some stuff that they're learning every single day. But you got to remember, if you go back to that video, I was in Diamond around level 80 or 90 or so in that video. Remember back when you were level 80 or 90 and you still had a lot to learn? Well, I don't know when you guys started competitive, but this was my very first season competitive and I was in diamond. Now, a lot of people were saying either one, that I'm a false diamond, that I got carried, or two, that I just, I got lucky with my placement games. So, first off, as terms of the placements games, I got placed in silver and I don't know how else to prove it, but I have games back when I was gold. I didn't record any games when I was in silver because I just, I was, it was so bad, but I got placed in silver for my placement games. So I didn't get lucky with my placement games and the second thing is that I can literally count on one hand How many times I played with a team and every time I played with the team It was one game and then I left because I'm just an awkward kid like that So I played solo queue every single time so that means one of two things either one I did get carried by randoms or two I held up my own and I was probably the one doing the carrying and I don't know if you guys know but randoms and overwatch 
they're not the greatest players of all time. So it might be the second one where I held up my own. I'm not trying to call out any names. I'm not trying to attack anybody. But it kind of does suck when people say you got carried when they don't even know your story. And I even made a video talking about how I went from silver to diamond. Literally solo queue almost the whole entire game. If I said the whole entire season, then people would say, oh, what about those four times you played with a team? Okay, I'm sorry. Let me backtrack. Almost. So, I don't know. That's just my video as terms of the trash gameplay that you guys saw. Everybody has their off days, but I didn't want to send in this god of a gameplay where I couldn't learn something. Uh, rather than sending in this mediocre game where I had mediocre walls and everything like that uh, with a pretty good ending. I'm, I still think that's one of the best endings ever where I can actually learn from it. And uh, and honestly, Style uh, helped me out a lot. Hopefully, I can learn a lot more and hopefully there'll be a lot more May tutorials from him and from everybody else because May's an underused hero, but she can really turn the tide. And even in the comments, people said, May can be a great hero, but nobody freaking plays her and nobody wants to give tutorials. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll give a May tutorial, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. So, love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming by from Sty's channel. Thank you, Sty, for featuring my video. A lot more Overwatch content to come. I know this was a longer video, but I had a lot to talk about, and I didn't want to forget one single detail. So, love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting my videos. It really does mean a lot. I love you guys, and bye.